getting real, guys. I'm actually leaving. Oh, God. One last tap after they checked my room and to sign up from SK Globo. Not gonna lie, this is getting a little bit emotional. This reminds me so much of my first day here. From arriving here alone to having these people to send me off, they are one of my many reasons that I did not want to leave. Thank you so much for staying up at 3 a.m. for me. And finally, I'm on my way to the airport. This road is so familiar yet so strange at the same time. There is no idol groups and no paparazzi in the early morning. Guys, guess where I'm heading to? I'm not heading home, but Tokyo! I went to meet my best friend for 15 years whom I haven't seen in years. Anyways, I went in and was hungry because I stayed up all night. So, food! Airport at 5 a.m. Thank God that I don't need to get convenience store food. I personally like fish cake a lot, so I enjoyed the variety of it. One with sausage and rice cake, one with cheese, one with squid. I have been to this airport many times, but never been to this side of it. Yeah, I came super early because I wanted to avoid traffic in the morning. Also, I was afraid that I would miss the flight because I slip in. Saw that beautiful sunrise and finally boarded. Here's to my beginning of my solo journey. Till next time, Korea, I'll be back for sure. I didn't really sleep and I had a hard time getting rid of the sad feelings so I wrote down my thoughts and feelings on my notes during the flight Can't wait to explore this new city and meet up with my dear friend Yes, that's right, new city When I was young, whenever I got a chance to travel, I would go to South Korea now that I'm not that obsessed anymore, I'm open to explore more places. I had to get to Shinjuku from the airport by myself. Not gonna lie, I was a bit worried at first because it's my first time traveling alone in Japan. And my Japanese level is very limited. So from finding the station, purchasing the ticket at the counter, to navigating myself in Shinjuku and everything else, I think it was a great experience for myself. I was so relied on my friend during my last trip in Japan, so I had to figure out a lot of things by myself without her. But it was a success. Ooh, I feel like I need to tell this story. So they got this lock thingy on the train that you can put your own passcode in to like secure your luggage and keep it in place, right? I'm not sure if it was because I was so tired or I am actually stupid, I realized I forgot what did I put in for the passcode like halfway through. Almost there, and the moment of truth. Can I retrieve my luggage with the passcode? Luckily, I remember it after all, thank god. Did I panic a little? Yes. Anyways, I got out of the station and struggled a bit to get to my hotel. I went to the convenience store for some quick food before checking in and I got a shrimp doria. Finally, it's time to check in! So I took a little break to unload things, changed, and then I went out to meet up with my friend. I made my non-K-pop stand friend to go to NCT Dream Cafe with me. Oh, this is a good one. 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 This is a good
，一個都唔中，係咩玩法？一個都唔中。有不解之緣，熱緣啊！車幣，車幣，第二個唔好再係你啦。熱緣啊！你知唔知我嗰次開三三隻同一樣嘅 Elva， 兩張都係佢，我真係喊出嚟。你飲嗰啲嗰個如果係車嚟嘅話，係中間黃色嗰個人。黃色嘛？我係咁中嗰個。不過佢佢飲嗰個杯樹係嗰杯喎，真係。啊 ！Thank God，Thank God， 終於唔係佢。I'm so grateful to have my friend to ask around for me because my Japanese skills are not good enough, and she is a very I person. So I think it took her a lot of courage to do that, and also I'm thankful for the fans who willing to exchange with me. And for dinner, I had ichiran. This was my first time trying ichiran, and I think that it is pretty interesting. So. If you go to Japan, I think you at least have to try it once. And their seating and also the way you order, you literally don't have to talk to anyone. I think it's really good for people who have social anxiety. I ordered a ramen and also the dessert because I want a full experience of ichiran. So. Okay, here is the card I got from the cafe. I was able to exchange for both Jisung and Jeno, so I'm very satisfied. Why is the music so fast? I can't tell. And the ramen is actually pretty good. I really like the soup. I did not get it with any spice level though, because I just don't really like spicy. So. <laughs> Don't know if it's her favorite, but it's definitely one of the places that she likes to go for cakes. So my friend brought me to this place after dinner, and she had to go back to her university dorm. So we separate from there, and that's basically my day one. Day two, we went to Sanrio Land. So my friend told me to wear something dreamy in terms of color, and I was like, I don't have anything like that. So I tried. I really tried. Anyways, so the station is very cute. It is Sanrio themed, so I really liked it because I'm a big fan of Sanrio characters. Kind of funny. My friend, she really loves Hello Kitty, and I kind of hated Hello Kitty. So I guess in a way, you can say that we are a perfect match because she can get all the Hello Kitty she wants, and I can get whatever else I want. And the theme park itself, it's really cute. It's a different vibe compared to Disney, I'll say. Huh? 我唔 expect 呢樣嘢喎，我大佬，唔怪之唔怪之佢叫我哋跳安全帶。哇！你嗰啲叫電話，好慢啊！我哋啊，我聞到。有呢個出現。
are. They are literally everywhere. Maybe. Is it fake? That's true. But they're just the same pose. What no? Eh, ah. Photo? And the next stop, it was the Hello Kitty house. Basically, this part is just a photo zone, so there's nothing much for me to say. I'll just take you around. Well, Gashapon is definitely a must when I'm in Japan, right? And next, we moved on to the little twin stars. I don't know what that is, but it's like an interactive game zone with a bit of photo zone kind of thing. We took a lot of pictures there, but not a lot of them look good because of the lighting. It's very purple-y. Anyhow, I like this area because I like little twin stars and also because of Jisoo and Chunla. After the show, we went to this Pompompurian house. At this point, I realized this theme park is more like a photo taking park instead of an amusement park, if you know what I mean. But I had a lot of fun because I've never been to a park like this and I really, really, really like Sanrio characters. So I had a really fun day there. Oh, I'm going to try it again. 
We tried so many times, but it wasn't able to sense our hand or something, so we gave up after all. And there was this bell of happiness staying there. According to what they said, if you ring it, you will find your happiness. Well, let's hope for the best then, I guess. We each bought some stuff from the store and we headed our way back so my friend she had classes the day after so she went back to her dorm and I went back to my hotel just like the day before so this day as I mentioned I'm going to spend this whole day by myself and I went to the Tokyo Tower because it is a very iconic place of my favorite enemy so like today I'm going on a solo trip and guess where I am at Tokyo Tower I gotta do the touristy stuff myself today, so sad because um, my friend, she has school Yeah, I don't know why Japan is still having school so she gotta go to class and I just gotta do today by myself So obviously, it's my first time in Tokyo so I gotta buy the ticket, go up there and take a look I only bought the cheaper ticket because I just want an experience, not the whole thing so this is the middle section of the tower but you can still see the city view pretty clearly in my point of view I spent some time looking around and I went down found out there is actually a neon light exhibition there I found it really 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 interesting because neon light reminds me so much of home Hong Kong I mean I took a look at the stores there but I didn't really buy anything except for some cute stationeries and afterwards I took a walk in the park right below the Tokyo Tower because it was during, well, not fall but they got some red leaves which I kind of missed it because, you know, Canada well, anyways, so after that I walked to another area I forgot what did I do in between but I ended up in Asakusa because my friend told me to and I came to this really famous place I looked around the area of Sensoji but mainly I was looking for food because my friend told me there is a very good place for sukiyaki Turns out, yeah, it is a really popular restaurant so when I walked in, they were like, yeah, we are fully booked tonight so I tried another place and they said we only take cash and I have no cash on me so I had to walk back to the main area of Sensoji to try to find literally just any place for sukiyaki and I just happened to find the same restaurant that my friend recommended in another branch so yay! I made it! I had my sukiyaki it was very very good the beef, oof I miss that so much I don't know if it was because I'm a foreigner or it's just how they serve their customers like the way she literally cooked everything for me was amazing like I feel like I'm a VIP or something I had a really great meal I walked around a little bit more and then I headed back I met up with my friend because we were going to somewhere the next day I was so full but I can't help myself to get the sweet potato because it just smells so good it was the best 
sweet potato that I've ever had. Well, that's basically my first part of the vlog.